Hello and welcome back to more Super Mario Maker, playing your levels. And we're just going to pick up right back from where we left off, and I think that was English. Um, we're going to play some viewer levels. So we're going to play one level here, we're going to play 1-1 one, one under construction. If we finish that, which it seems to be 40% clear rate, seems to be easy enough, we'll move on to... Well, I'll have to decide between Game & Rage's other level, Mario Maker Anniversary, but it's like super expert level, so maybe I'll save that for another time and do Neely's video. But then again, October is, you know, the month of Super Mario Maker's Anniversary, so I'll probably do that one next. But let's get started in order here. There is the code, and you'll see it again in a moment. And then, of course, I do put all the codes of the levels that I play in the description for that episode. But anyway, we have 1-1 one, one under construction, and I can already make a good guess that this level is gonna look a lot like 1-1, one, one, but more insane. Yeah. Give me that. That mushroom. Oh yeah, it's the construction dude. I was afraid I was gonna lose that power up as soon as I got it. So wait, is that a- nope, there are things. There are chain chomps there. This is like crazy 1-1. One, one. Can I go down any of these? Perhaps not. Can I get a- Alright, I don't know if I was supposed to do that or not, but I missed out on a fire flower. And- but that's okay because I got- a star, so I'm sorry that I'm kind of talking all halted. Oh, lost the lost the power up right there. Sorry, I was talking kind of halted because I was like, oh my gosh, I've got this, I've got this star now, this invincibility star, and I want to. Oh my goodness, what is going on here? Yeah, this construction site definitely needs some cleanup here. Oh, go to checkpoint. So yeah, I wanted to get that. Um, Yay, explosions. I wanted to get that fire flower. Why do I need a checkpoint here? That's interesting. I guess I guess this really is like under construction, nothing is organized properly. Alright, we're gonna jump here. So yeah, I wanted to get that fire flower, but then I was just like, oh my gosh, I've got a star, I need to use this. And it ended up being a good idea because of those hammer bros. And I guess the big ones are sumo bros. But yeah, okay, that was a quick level, but that was an awesome concept. Um, especially considering that the Mario Maker sort of logo, or like, Mario dressed for Mario Maker, he's got like a construction costume going on there. Anyway, I'm gonna leave a comment, as always, so I will be right back. Alright, here we go. One thing I have to say, this whole like, Miiverse drawing thing, the, the system, like, using stamps is kind of frustrating, because, like, I wanted to, I wanna lay down all these bricks, like, in a line. And it's kind of hard to do that. You have to be very particular with your placement. And and the other thing I think that they could benefit from is having um, being able to undo more than one step in your drawing, and or having an undo and redo option. Well, I guess the undo option right now is an undo redo option, but have a separate redo option so you can just kind of keep undoing things. But anyway, that is neither here nor there. We did finish one one under construction, so that was really short. So let's go ahead and try to tackle this Mario Maker anniversary thing. Um, 4 out of 68, 5% clear rate? So maybe it wasn't super expert, maybe it was just expert level. Anyway, we're about to find out for ourselves. Um, happy anniversary Mario Maker, a little more than a year old now. Actually, yeah, by the time this goes up it'll be um, almost Halloween time, I believe. Uh, yeah, it'll be like the 20... 28th or 20... yeah, 28th probably if this goes up on a Friday. I'm not sure what day... I'm not sure what day of the week I'm gonna put it up on, because I've been doing... Whoa, hi there. I think I've been doing Wednesday, so maybe it'll go up on a Wednesday. But yeah, we'll be almost at the end of October, and um, Mario Maker was... Whoa, hi there. How did I even survive? Um, Mario Maker came out, like, what, October 11th or so? Or was it? No, did it come out in September? Maybe it came out in September, so if that's the case, then I'm I'm late to the party anyway. But that's why I figured better to take it on sooner rather than later, because it'll already be- we'll already be in November if I wait until the next episode. Alright, let's, um... I 
would really, yeah, I was gonna say I'd really feel better about myself if I had a mushroom right now. But there were a couple places where I could have been more careful and I wasn't, so we're gonna try that again. Doop doop do, whatever that is. I can't really tell what that symbol is. Oh, thanks, piranha plant. Thanks. Alright. Uh huh. Man, it's just so difficult if you don't already have an extra- Actually, I guess I could have run under and seen if I could have gotten a mushroom in that other question mark block on the bottom, so... Maybe I'll try that. Darn you, piranha plant! Like, I know he's there, but I keep landing on it anyway. Oh right, yeah, there's no mushroom there. Why would there be a mushroom there? It's against a ceiling. <sighs> Alright. This is... scary! Okay, so I'm pretty much taking the most dangerous paths possible, it seems. Okay, I keep ignoring the stupid piranha plant, but I'm not gonna do that this time. Well, I didn't... <laughs> I didn't hit the piranha plant, but I ran into Goombas. Alright, let's try not to run into anybody this time. Okay. Oh! Darn it. It's like I waited, and that was probably my downfall. Like, I waited for the piranha plant, and then he didn't show up. I'm like, oh, I guess I'm in the clear. I'm not acting like someone who knows how to play Mario, even though I actually do. Alright, so he won't go up if, I, if I'm standing next to it, so I've got to do that. Alright, let me just... Actually, I can skip this part now. Because I have my extra hit. And this guy's gonna try to destroy me. Okay. I came out of that alright. And now I'm in danger again. There's obviously something to these springs that I'm not doing right. Alright, I got that. Again, got kind of lucky not dying that time. Alright, mushroom? No, no mushroom. I mean, this does pretty much sum up a lot of Mario Maker is like, hey, let's put a spring everywhere. Alright. Well, darn, I thought I was gonna jump on top of that. Ah! <laughs> I had a feeling that was gonna be a long jump, but uh, I'm not sure what else I could have done there. I guess I didn't have enough running momentum or something. Ah, uh, almost slid into the Goomba. All right, so we're gonna go up here and get bounced away because springs. And we're gonna do that because we're stupid. And we're gonna do that because we're still stupid and don't learn our lesson. And we're gonna keep running into the spring because... Mario. Alright. Darn it! <laughs> okay, I can see where the challenge comes from. There's just so much to keep track of. And, like, when you're looking out for one thing, then you miss something else that you didn't think about before because you avoided it the time before. Alright, so there was really no reason for me to go that top route with the mushroom here, so I'm just gonna go the bottom route. Even though that means I have to go here, which is annoying. But I can get my mushroom back, and as long as I don't hit the freaking fireballs, and then I'm gonna jump over the- Alrighty, well... Well, how much longer is this level? Because I- Yeah. It'd be nice to have a checkpoint, maybe. I mean, I'm- I'm- I'm dying pretty early in the level, so I don't need a checkpoint yet, but like, the farthest I got in the level, that would have been- that felt like a pretty decent spot to have a checkpoint, maybe. And that time, I thought I pressed the jump button, but apparently I pressed it a moment too late. Well, you know what's happening is, like, I've- I've done this beginning part a lot of times, so I'm trying to breeze through it because I'm getting impatient and I want to get to the part that I haven't done- as much of, and so I'm just not thinking straight. And the, of course, Ay. 
Of course, they call it, like, the Let's Player's Curse, when you have to play and talk at the same time, your quality of playing starts to go downhill. So, um, I got that going for me. Alright, let me- I'm gonna try this one more time, and then I might- Alright, that one didn't count. <laughs> I was making- I made that jump every time before. But, alright. I'm gonna take my time, I'm gonna give it one more good try, and then I might have to go commentary free until I get back to, like, about as far as I got that one time. Because I, th I think there's no way to... There's no way to really... for me to do this effectively, or I think the most effective way for me to do this Darn it. Would be to not talk. Alright, so I'm gonna cut till I get to, like, past this section that I just died on. And then I'll resume talking to you guys. I'll be right back. Okay, well I made it past that part, and I actually got right up until that last little challenge there before I lost my mushroom. Not feeling super great about continuing, though. Alright, well I got a mushroom, so that's better. We're getting close- darn it. We're getting closer to- yeah, here's the part. Ah, yeah, I gotta- it, It's a psychological thing for me to time that out. Um, to time that out, like that jump, because I don't really feel like I have time to set up for that jump, because I'm just like- I'm just going, trying not to die to anything. I guess it would be better if I- well, I pretty much signed my death warrant there. Alright, I'm gonna cut that away again, but um, yeah, the- that last section with the red Koopas, that- it, it kind of catched me by surprise, so I'll work my way up to that point, and then I'll kind of pause there, just to check back in with you guys, but then it'll also give me a chance to kind of collect myself and be prepared, hopefully be prepared for that challenge, so I'll be back in a moment. Oh hey, I'm Skinny Mario, that uh, barely ever happens, but... Alright, well, Skinny Mario's gone, so I will catch up with you guys later. Oh hey, Skinny Mario two runs in a row, what do you know? Um, but yeah, I'm still having some trouble here, in case you guys couldn't tell. I had a really funny death, which actually just happened just before I started this time. Um, so I'll probably, I'll probably include it, maybe? Hopefully I remembered to. Post-production me, remember to do that. Because it was like, I, I dodged all these guys and then I killed myself on that spring. Which is just hilarious, right? Alright, but we're getting pretty close to um, where I left off the time before. So we might as well just keep the recording going right now. Okay, so... Really? Alright, I'll be right back. Skinny Mario again! Uh, well, it wasn't three times in a row, but uh, this is probably no longer an interesting occurrence. So yeah, cutting away it is. I pressed it to jump! I pressed the jump button. I really did. Oh, this is so- so many stupid deaths I've been having. Uh, I, I don't know how many of these I'm gonna include, but like, I, I've died like a good five or more times by hitting a spring that shoots me off the ledge. And it's the same- in the same spot, too. It's this one. Well, I mean, not this spring, but this spring. Alright, I avoided it this time, and that one almost blew me back. Now I have to deal with this one. Alright, 
So apparently the talking is is helping me a little bit in this case, which is interesting. All right, we're getting we're getting back to Red Koopaville. Now I want to not make a dumb mistake. Okay, I'm good for now. Oh, I got all those guys. All right. Why? I'm not even sure how to make that jump. P forgive the exasperation in my voice, but it, it's just taking me so long to go through this entire level, dying a hundred times, to even get to that one spot, and then when I get to that one spot that's been giving me, like, that I need to get past, I don't know what to do, and it's like I go do all that work just to die in mere seconds. So it's a little bit frustrating. Alright, no mushroom for me. We're gonna do this the scary way. Whoa! Whoa! That was very frightening. But I survived somehow. Alright, let's get here. Alright, good. Got a mushroom. I mean, I am learning where all the stuff in the level is pretty well now. But, whoa, I almost killed myself there. A lot of good it does me, though, when I keep messing up. Alright, so now... Can I just do this? Or will I regret that? Yes! I survived! Okay, now to not die, because I feel like... Yes! Oh my gosh, the ending was right there. It was right there the whole time. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Oy. I don't know how many of my deaths I'm going to include there, but I'll probably include a couple of those ones where the spring hit me off the ledge because it was a recurring nightmare for me. Let me go ahead and leave a comment. Okie dokie, here is my somewhat timely for Halloween comment here. For those of you not familiar what HHN is, um, that is Halloween Horror Nights, which is an event that happens around Halloween time at Universal Studios, where at night they basically turn the park into a horror park. Um, I did go one time to Halloween Horror Nights because a friend wanted to go, and uh, I don't do horror, just so you know, I don't do haunted houses, I don't do scary things, I, I'm too... A, sensitive, and B, have a an overactive imagination when it comes to frightening things. I don't like jump scares, and I don't like psychological scares, so neither one really works for me. But I felt it fitting for Halloween time with... I'm gonna have memories. I might have a nightmare tonight about those springs, so... Um, I'm sure the Mario edition of Halloween Horror Nights would be full of springs, so that is that. Alright, so... I don't know how long this episode actually is so far. I've been recording for about 30 minutes, but most of that is dying and failing, so most of that's not going to make it into the episode. Um, I might try this four trials um, level. I'm not sure. I mean, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit, uh, I'm a little bit worn out. But I feel like I should play this. I should at least, I'll at least start this level. And there's an easy mode of this level, too, but I'll, I'll start this level. All right, comments on, too. I have to make sure comments are on. Are they on? No, they're not. So I'll have them on both so that you guys can see and I can see. But I guess so far there's no comments. So, whoa there. All right, so it looks like we're going to get the coins to get a key. Oh, yeah, and we have this little checkpoint save system. Which I have to learn a little bit more how to use that. All right. Um, why the flaming cheap jeeps? Why? All right, trial one is Monty Mole. Darn it. I'm pretty sure this there's a Kaizo Mario level like this, too. All right, so we're gonna get here before the flaming cheap jeeps do. All right, so da 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 No, keep going this way. It's based on where you're facing. Okay, so that one I have to jump straight up and get the guy to turn back. Actually, though, um... Nah! Get, get me back up! Darn you! Alright, but I know what to do here. But I realize the, the mole builds up so much momentum. That's kind of tricky. 
All right, so ba da da. Also because I tend to like to jump and then face the. Why did you run that way? I was facing this way. Oh, I th I think though I need to be on his right hand side. So at first it looked like it was based on what direction I was facing. But it's which side of him I'm on, I guess. Oh, darn it. So I just have to jump all the way and jump onto those things, I guess. I mean, I mean, I get it. I definitely get it here. Why do you stop? No! <laughs> darn it, I slid off. I don't fully understand. I'm- I was pretty sure it's based on what side of the Monty Mole you're on. But it also looks like he builds up- but then when I turn when I'm in the air, he turns around. But his, um, momentum mechanic, I guess, is a little weird. Okay, but we got it. So let's try to get... Moles! Okay. Oh man, I think I just got a preview of what the next thing is. Alright, so we have to- do I really- Really? I have to- After I get the coins, I have to go through all this before I get to the checkpoint again? That's, um, asking a little much of me. Actually, though, in retrospect, I could have just waited. Ugh. No, I almost- I could almost- I almost cheated and got away with it. But- in retrospect, if I get to that part again, I just need to wait for the cheap cheeps to leave. No! Why slip? Why'd I slip? That's alright, because I just realized I wouldn't have been able to get that other coin anyway. Yeah, I might have to pick up this level again in the next episode. Wait, let's see though. All right, let's get away from these moles. Oh, darn it. All right, um, I mean, I'm starting to get the hang of this one, but I think I'm going to pick this up in the next episode because it's just one of the four trials. Uh, so this will be a good way to start off the next episode. So if you like this video, go ahead and leave a like. Also, leave a comment because I do need some more levels to play. So leave your code in the comments or someone else's code, whatever. Um, whatever level you want me to play. Also, subscribe if you want to stay up to date when my latest videos come out. Also, if you'd like to follow me on social media, you can like my page on Facebook or follow me on Twitter. The links are in the description. Also, a little side note. Um, if you also happen to enjoy watching my Pokemon playthroughs, I am kind of taking a, a head count of whether you would rather see me play Pokemon Sun or Pokemon Moon on my channel because in December, I do plan to do a Nuzlocke or Wedlock or something like that. Um, after the games come out, but I'm gonna play, let's say you choose for me to play Moon, I'm gonna play Sun on my own, so I know a little bit of what to expect, and maybe whether to do a Nuzlocke or a Wedlock, like, what kind of challenge I should do. Um, so just let me know, Sun or Moon, would you rather see me play Sun or Moon on my channel? Anyway, that's gonna do it, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next episode of Super Mario Maker, playing your levels.